Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the second ODI between Pakistan and New Zealand. And we promise that if we understand the conditions decently enough and if it's a balanced game, we'll be back for the second preview. And so we are. And Nikhil Bhai is here with us today to tell you more about Bracewell, Phillips and all that happened in the first one. Again, this tells you why sometimes a normal games are good for everyone. Because you are able to predict stuff based on normal cricketing logic and not like when you have Rashid and Siddal, you give bowling to CDG. But when they are not there, you don't go to CDG, but you bowl other bowlers. So again, though that randomness not And international because you are able to predict or able to visualize better. I have a lot close close chance because Bracewell is Phillips Chale, Nassim Shah, captain de, kuch Grand League teams. Mein. To, decent signs that you can identify your game. Ke, what is it that works for you? And you can invest in that series. It's not necessary to play match. Khel. So pick your, pick your games, pick your series and then, then you play well. Yes, absolutely. That should be the approach. And uh, the best part being that the points were also equally spread among. So if you saw that yeah. after all the talk about it being a batting friendly ground, yes. yet nobody hit a 50 in the first inning. So that should tell you enough about how evenly spread out it was, which is always good in terms of fantasy spread because it means you're always in the game. And okay. anyway, on that note, let's start with the venue conditions. Okay. So venue conditions first up and Karachi, like we saw, was not as easy to bat on as we thought so because mm. it was holding on a bit on the pitch. There was a slight amount of grip, especially uh, under the sunlight. But as we mm. saw that while chasing, it did not grip as much. But yet, the I heard, I think, Vakar Yunus saying on air that there was still yet a decent amount of grip compared to what you would actually expect even under lights at Karachi. Mm. So, Nikhil, why you see the same happening in the second game or maybe they relay a pitch? वो तो मुझे नहीं लगता इतना भी लाला के पास पावर है कि नहीं ऑफ कोर्स ही दे कैन डू दैट सो फ्रेश पिच यूज होता है तो कंडीशंस कैन बी आई स्टिल फील दे माइट बी बिट मोर सिमिलर टू व्हाट वी सॉ इन द फर्स्ट गेम यूज डेक है तो इट शुड डेफिनेटली गेट बेटर फॉर बोलर्स एंड ऑलराउंडर्स व्हिच ब्रिंग्स अस इनटू द गेम अ लॉट मोर पर आई एक्सपेक्ट अनदर 250 टू 290 काइंड ऑफ सरफेस ड्राई रहेगा तो थोड़ा और कम हो जाएंगे एंड क्योंकि ऑलराउंडर्स दोनों टीम में काफी है बट अगर आप देखें कुछ ही के यूज हो रहे वेरी सरप्राइजिंग टू सी शिपले डिड नॉट गेट इनफ ओवर्स इन द फर्स्ट गेम ब्रेसवेल एंड फिलिप्स बोल्ड अलॉट तो ये सारे हिंट्स है आपके लिए कि टीम कैसे यूज कर रही है अपने रिसोर्स को सो व्हेन यू मेक द टीम कीप ऑल ऑफ दिस इन माइंड यस एब्सोल्युटली सो दैट इज द राउंड अप ऑन व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंडीशंस नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द बेस टीम वी हैव सेट अप So the base team for this game and in the keeping section, we have gone with both Rizwan and Latham. Both look good and Latham also just played that one shot in the air. Apart from that, his innings look pretty good. And in the batting, we have continued to back the five batters, Babar and Fakhar, both of whom played good knocks. And then we have gone with Kane, Conway and Phillips, who is essentially now more of an all-rounder now that he's bowling quite a bit too. So hence, that becomes advantageous. Nikhil Bhai, uh, and you also touted Harris Sohail that if he plays the game, he'll play a good knock, which he did. He almost finished the game for them. So, any other thoughts? Would you like to go with Imam or uh, do you feel like these are the right batters to pick? Yeah, I think Imam is... I and me and Imam have a very special kind of bond. Uh, <laughs> when I take him, he doesn't score. When I don't, he scores 100, 150s. So, maybe in my team 1, I'll not take him, but in team 2, I'll definitely do. Because the thing with him is... I think he does better while batting first. He's able to set the tone much better, hmm. which is surprising. Ideally, you will say that second be better because chase pata hai, conditions pata hai. So again, hmm. I think he's the only guy that I feel that you can definitely try. And Harris Soil I'll again back, uh, especially if Pakistan back first. So yeah, that is my grand league pick number one. Yes, so there you go. You already heard it. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Bracewell and Nawaz. Now, Nawaz and Santana both are being used in more defensive roles. So, you probably pick one of the two, whoever bowls, maybe second, if you feel like uh, there will be that grip that was there in the first game. And if you feel like that grip will not be there under lights, then you go and back the sunlight and the spinner who is bowling first. 
but yeah. uh, one one of the it will be difficult even to pick that spinner bowling first because both these guys generally finish their overs before 30 35th over which yeah. means the batsmen are not really forced to attack them so maybe you can also try the extra pacer in that slot and in the bowlers we have gone with naseem and saudi both of whom look good on the track and uh, naseem took quite a few wickets at the end there <laughs> बिल्कुल तो देखो ये गेम ऐसा हो सकता है जहाँ पे रॉफ लाला एज अ लाइक रॉफ के कम्स अप एंड टेक्स हैंडी थ्री फोर फल और आई थिंक ओसामा और मीर आल्सो बोल्ड वेल बट यही है कि देखो अगर आप बैटर्स हैवी जा रहे हो तो यू हैव टू मेक विजुलाइजेशन आपका ऐसा होना चाहिए कि अगेन यहाँ पे हम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कह रहे हैं कि दो ही बॉलर में विकेट जाएगी फॉर बोर्ड थिंग तो अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं यूज डेक है या स्लोविज डेक है तो आप एक एक बैटर दोनों टीम से ड्रॉप करके एक एक्स्ट्रा बॉलर ले सकते हो सो यू कैन कॉम्बिनेशन में चेंज करना हर बार जरूरी नहीं कि एक बंदा अगर पहले मैच में पांच ले तो दूसरा में भी तीन चार लेगा जरूरी नहीं है टीम्स यूजुअली प्ले देम बेटर इन द सेकेंड स्टेंट अनलेस ही नो बडी स्टॉपिंग हिम फ्रॉम बोलिंग वेल अगेन तो वो याद में रख के पहले बोलिंग कर रहे हैं अगर पाकिस्तान तो स्टिल्स है दोनों मोहम्मद वसीम एंड हरे श्रॉफ आर क्रिटिकल मे बी यू कैन ड्रॉप नवाज देन सो दैट इज एक ऐसा आप सोच सकते हो कि नवाज अगर विकेट लेगा तो कितने लेगा एक या दो तो क्या वो एक या दो विकेट आपको मोहम्मद वसीम में हरे श्रॉफ से मिल सकते हैं अगर वो दस ओवर डाल रहे तो तो दैट इज द कॉल दैट यू हैव टू टेक अगर आपको लगता है कि हाँ तो फिर आप वैसा स्विच कर सकते हो नहीं तो यू कैन स्टे विद नवाज एंड से कि भाई मेरे को उससे बैटिंग भी चाहिए सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैन राउंड अप मल्टीपल कॉम्बिनेशन बिकॉज लॉक यू ऑल्सो लुक ओके ओके उनके रिकॉर्ड काफी अच्छे हैं बट ही डेट लुक मच इन फॉर्म विच इज कॉन्टास्ट टू टॉम लेतम जिनका हेड टू इतना अच्छा नहीं है बट रिसेंट फॉर्म काफी अच्छा है so that is why you see litham is part of the base team so uh, i think base sabhi ka predominantly same rahega so i feel it's a good game again to play uh, small leagues mini gels so definitely aapko try karne chahiye jahan jahan pe aap risk le rahe ho kyunki risk level isme mujhe medium lag raha hai uh, core player aapke sahi rahe same rahenge but kyunki agar wickets distributed hain aur runs distributed hain so you will be in the game a lot Yes, absolutely. And one key point to keep in mind, like Nikhil Bhai already mentioned, is that Nawaz has a slight edge in terms of batting importance in the lineup over Santner. So that can be one crucial factor when you're trying to decide between both of them, because you know that the guys batting above Nawaz, Aga, and Harris have not played too much of international cricket before this in the recent past. So whenever that batting collapse happens, or whenever there are a few quick set of wickets, Nawaz can play an important role. with the bat too and being indian fans who knows better than us so let's look at now the grand league options for this game so nikhil bhai who are your grand league options for this please game? you go first you go first i'll wait <laughs> okay my grand league options if uh, new zealand chase is uh, finn allen and if new zealand uh, bat first then glen phillips because in the finishing order he looked really good and if he would not have played that rash shot and plus he's bowling also a decent amount of overs so yes if they bat first then uh, glen phillips and if they bat second then finn allen and uh, from pakistan i don't have any grand league pick for this game pretty fair call uh, i think mere maine ek to aapko pehle bata diya harris soil uh i think he's someone who plays the plays a very crucial role for pakistan in that uh, in that batting lineup so pehle batting karte samay you can definitely try him out maybe a vice captain option for you agar aapko waise jana hai to and from new zealand again it's a slightly risky pick but i think darrel mitchell is somebody who often gets undervalued or underrated aur agar wicket waisa hai तो वो आपको एक हैंडी 35 40 दे देता है मतलब बिना आपको पता चले उनसे उतना स्कोर यू कैन गेट इट आउट ऑफ हिम लास्ट गेम आल्सो हिट अ डिसेंट 36 एंड आई फील इज नॉट यूज्ड वेल विद द बॉल वो जैसा सरफेस है मुझे लगता है डैरेल मिचेल कैन बी वेरी हैंडी एट टाइम्स तो यूसेज अगर वैसा रहेगा तो आई थिंक डैरेल मिचेल शुड बी अ गुड तो दोनों थोड़े सिमिलर ऑप्शंस है हैरिस सोइल एंड डैरेल मिचेल यस एब्सोल्युटली सो that rounds up our gl picks for this one we hope all of you have a good game too and tell us in the comments who your gl picks for this one are have a great one and all the good luck to all of you yes always back your vijay